What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, one and all, to the very next series on Shadow J Gaming, which is Pokemon Zeta. Now, I know that many of you guys are probably scratching your head asking the question, Shadow J, what is Pokemon Zeta? And really, that is a legitimate question because, as you guys know, Pokemon Zeta is not an official Nintendo game, neither is it a ROM hack of another official Pokemon game. Rather, this is a fan made Pokemon game made from the computer software RPG Maker which you guys can check out for yourselves on Steam, but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about Pokemon Zeta. Now, I am very excited to get started with this, as with all of the other series that I've done before, so let's go ahead and get started. I should mention that this is a... This is a... What's it called? <laughs> it's a blind run-through. So, yeah, I do have a save file, but that was really just to get a taste of what this game is and what it's going to be like. So it was really just me going through the beginning of the game, but really this is a blind run through. I have played Pokemon before, but not this version as you guys know. But anyway, hello! <laughs> that was probably a bad hello. This is a pre-recorded message. It is only to be opened in case of emergency. My name is Professor Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Please select an option. Now, I don't really need to go over controls, it's, it's pretty much the same as, you know, with regular Pokemon games, with official released Pokemon games, but I want to take a look at what Adventure says. Beginning pre-recorded message. You are about to enter a world full of hopes and dreams. Many different Pokemon live here, all with different worldviews and beliefs. Some people desire goodness and altruism, but some people also value fame and power over anything else. You are about to take a trip through this world. At times, obstacles will stand in your way. By solving puzzles and with clever thinking, these can be overcome. At other times, others may challenge you to a battle. By overcoming such hurdles, you can attain success and power of your own. Through your journey, we hope you gain personal growth and learn from the opinions of others. That is the most important objective of this quest. Of this quest, whether or not you succeed. So really this sounds a lot like our world, really. How, how there are people that desire kindness and altruism, but all, there are also people that, you know, aren't after those things. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But some people abuse them for power. That is why you are here today. For our records, please answer the following questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Now, of course, I'm a boy since this is a pre-recorded message and since messages don't have any way of determining whether or not I'm a boy or a girl, you know, I, I take a little less offense to that as with, you know, the official games when you're talking to the professor face to face, you know, even though he's looking at you, he still has to ask, are you a boy or a girl? Don't you guys think that that's a little offensive in some way? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, it's asking now if I want to do a challenge run. Now quickly, I just want to show you this option. Um, what's really interesting about this fan-made game is that you can choose from a, a bunch of presets for um, challenge runs and all of that. Like you guys, what know what? <laughs> excuse me. You guys know what nuzlocks are. You guys know what randomized challenges are. Well, you can you can actually choose like from different challenge settings, you know, to to kind of switch up uh, each run through of this game that you guys might do. But for this purpose, or excuse me, for the purposes of this playthrough, we're not going to be doing one of those challenge runs. So let's just go ahead and go with the default settings. By default, the rival has swag to make you feel enmity towards him. <laughs> oh, just hearing that word swag, doesn't that make you guys feel a bit of enmity already towards the rival, just like how Professor Oak is saying? Alright, Shadow J, are you ready? Team Asgard has attacked Nyasa Town, leaving few survivors, and I feel like I totally messed up the name of that town. But Team Asgard, that's that's a pretty interesting name. You know, we've got Team Rocket, you've got um, Team Aqua, in this game it's Team Asgard. Okay, we've been transferred to, or we're being transferred to uh, Zaravar Town through the escape route. Alright, emergency Pokemon are available in the escape route for those who want to help stop Team Asgard. Thank you for watching this pre-recorded message. Alright, right off the bat, you know, this uh, things are starting off on a serious tone here. And I'm guessing that that character is us, the one with the black hat. I think we're safe here. Go! Lucario! Lucario, the time has come. Go find... Go find... Wilson. 
tell him the time for cowardice is over. Okay, I'll admit that's probably not the way that the mother would sound if she said Wilson. Tell him to redeem himself. Lucari? Okay, <laughs> I'm probably not going to dub the Pokemon because, you know, just like how I've dubbed Macker in Wind Waker HD and Medley, I've, I've butchered people's voices time and time again. Shadow Jay, I hoped it would never have come to this. They're out there. They won't stop until they get what they want. Shadow Jay, you're growing up. I think you're ready for your first Pokemon. We have Pokemon stored somewhere down here in case of emergencies. You may as well take one. Perhaps if Team Asgard is ever stopped, you might become a better trainer than I ever was. I only wish I knew why they came after Nyasa Town. Again, I'm probably messing up that name. Hey! Aria, Shadow J. Oh, it's Professor Oak. Let's, let's dub him more appropriately. Aria, Shadow J. Team Asgard found this cave. Aria, we need you to help fend them off. Oh no! Go with the professor, honey. He'll take you to his lab in Zarevar Town. Shadow J, I love you. Be safe. Aw, oh, you can really sense a mother's love here in this scene, huh? Hmm, well I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. As a professor, I'm supposed to give you a Pokemon and start you on your journey. But as a friend of your family, well, I trust your mother's judgment. She is one of the greatest trainers I have ever met. Ooh, and that really says something about our mother as a trainer, huh? Because really, this is the same Professor Oak that knew the great trainer Red, right? So that's pretty interesting. Follow me. I'll take you to get your Pokemon. Ooh, this is exciting stuff. Our first Pokemon. If we try to go here, I can't get I can't go this way. Team Asgard is waiting for us. Now what's interesting is that for the very first time, we as the player have spoken in the game, in a Pokemon game. Shadow J, this way. Oh, the professor is in quite a hurry, but as I said, the game right off the bat puts you in a pretty desperate situation, a pretty terrifying situation if you think about it, how this whole team Asgard invaded your hometown and is possibly killing people? That's what it sounds like, that's what it makes it out to sound like. There are three Pokemon in this case. Pick one, but pick wisely. It will be your companion for the rest of your life. Alright, so let's go ahead and press the action button. This must be the emergency Pokemon supply. Which Pokemon would you like to take? Now, typical of many Pokemon games, you've got three starters to choose from. And also typical of many Pokemon games, you get to choose from a grass type, a fire type, and a water type. Now, in this case, we're offered a Bellsprout, a Magby, and a Horsey, which really is a little bit weird. Um, a weird Pokemon to offer at the beginning of a game, but I'm going to go ahead and start by choosing Horsey, because you guys know Munching Orange. He's another famous Pokemon Let's Player. Another. I'm not a famous Pokemon Let's Player, but he is a famous Pokemon Let's Player that is currently doing a run-through of Pokemon Z and Pokemon Omicron and he did choose Magby so I just want to switch things up and choose Horsey. You know what nonetheless water types are usually the way to go whenever you start a Pokemon game. So would you like to give a nickname to your Horsey? Of course wouldn't have it any other way. Now I want to name this Horsey. This one is a male so let's go ahead and give him the name Hubert after Hubert Lont from Tales of Graces. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I name Pokemon after other video game characters that I really admire. Wow, you truly are your mother's child. Amazing. I must be off. And there he goes. He just, <laughs> he's just gonna leave us. I will be waiting for you in my lab in Zarevar Town. Just continue through the cave. You can't miss it. Okay, let's be real here, Professor O. Could you not, like, guide me through this cave? I, I think that would really help, especially since this is my first time with a Pokemon. I could use a little bit of help here. Hmm? Good job, Snubble. Snub, snub. My name's Jeremy. I'm an intern in Professor's lab. The professor asked me to give you these. Obtain Pokeballs, and right off the bat, we can we can start by catching some Pokemon. If there are even Pokemon to be found in this cave, that is. If you see a wild Pokemon, such as in tall grass or a cave, then you can throw a Pokeball to catch it. You'll have to weaken it first, though. A Pokemon is easiest to catch when it is low on HP, and has a status effect like being asleep or frozen. You can't catch someone else's Pokemon, uh, though. That's theft. <laughs> That's important to keep in mind because that is an easy way to waste Pokeballs. But I'm sure that you guys are already well aware of that. I know that a lot of you guys watching have played some Pokemon game or another. Hey, since I'm telling you so much already, how about I show you how to be a trainer? 
Let's have a battle. All right, and here is our very first trainer battle, and we are going to be fighting off against Snubble. Hiker Jeremy would like to battle. Hiker Jeremy sent out Snubble, as I just said. And here we go, we get to test out Hubert's strength for the very first time. So we start out with Pound, Bubble, and Smoke Screen. I, I just want to go ahead and just use Bubble. As you guys know, at, like, at the very beginning of Pokemon, you don't really focus too much on status changing moves and all of that, kind of like what Snubble just did. But then again, that's that's probably just me. I mean, we're at such, such low levels and all that, it doesn't really matter whether or not you lower attack or lower defense. Personally, I just want to go straight for lowering the opponent's defense. But again, that's just me. And right off the bat, I really admire the graphics of this fan-made game. Now, one thing that I didn't mention is that Actually, I did mention something like this in my Wind Waker HD um, series. I mentioned how there are a lot of ROM hacks of Pokemon out there, right? And there are many high quality ROM hacks, but then again, there are a lot of those ROM hacks that are not so well made, as in there are a lot of typos and just the overall design of the overworld and just just the design of the game does not look good. It's not pleasing to the eye, but from what I've seen so far and from what I've seen on YouTube, Whoever made this game really did a great job. I should probably look up who made this game. Hello there, again. Good to see you. Use those Pokeballs against Team Asgard, okay? Will do, will do. As I said, this is a very well-made, um, fan-made game, so I'm very- uh, I'm looking forward to completing this game. Shadow J found the running shoes. It reads, hold down Z while walking to increase your pace. And yeah, I'm using the keyboard to play this, so I'm going to hold down and uh, hold down Z to run. I, I, I'm i wondering if I could use my PS3 controller, because I, I do use my PS3 controller to play some computer games and all of that. Isn't my Mudkip cute? My mommy gave him to me. He's a different color, so he got bullied by all the other Mudkips. But I love him just the way he is. Wow, that's that's terrible. I'm really sorry to hear that your Mudkip was bullied like that. Such prejudice. But as you guys know, different colored Pokemon are what we call shiny Pokemon. And they are extremely, extremely rare. I'm not sure if you can find shiny Pokemon in this game, but it would be very interesting if you could. Hello, young trainer. Those Team Asgard goons are up to no good again, aren't they? Here, this will help. Obtained Potion. Now, Potion, as you guys know, can be used inside or outside of battle, and... Okay, so he, he explained that, but it restores 20 health points. Uh, you can't say 20 HP points because I believe that health points, or HP stands for health points. So if you say 20 HP points, that's basically saying 20 health point points. And ooh, it is midday. Now I believe that this game runs on your computer clock, so if you play this during midday, it will be midday in the game. And if you play it during the evening, it will be evening in game, so that's very interesting. Let's see what this guy has to say. Ah, uh, get lost you filthy urchin! You're just not cool enough, you know? Wow. What a jerk. That's very rude. How about you, little boy? You've got a little, looks like a Dell computer you've got there? I'm a child prodigy working at the school. I want to make friends, but none of the other kids like me. Aw, that's such a downer. But, you know, it's okay, because if you're talking about that one student below us, then really, he, it seems like he doesn't like anyone the way that he spoke to me. Hey, what are your thoughts on the swag? Uh, swag-tastic, really? I, as, as you guys know, I do not like the word swag, neither do I like the word YOLO. That's, that's just me, though. People call me a hipster, but <laughs> I don't like using those words. My students are absolute ruffians. They toss tables, scribble in their notebooks, and... Well, they would make fantastic Pokemon trainers. Okay, so <laughs> that was a little weird how the text box moved from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, but that's just me. I tend to notice things like that, as you guys know, but this big here building looks important. I believe that it is the professor's lab. Ah, excellent, Shadow J. You're here. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. But I'm planning to meet up with her later. She's out recru uh, recruiting allies to help fight against Team Asgard. I'll see if I can keep him out of... Um, Excuse me, I'll see if I can keep you in contact with her. In the meantime, I need a favor. One of the students in the school just south of my lab is starting an internship with me. Can you go fetch him for me? I would appreciate it. Okay, so it's probably one of those students that was in the school, and you guys probably would have guessed that. It is the student that looks like Gary Oak, that shares the same sprite as Gary Oak, right? Hey you! We own this school! Get out of here right now, or I'll... 
dude, you gotta calm down. I was here just literally a minute ago. Huh? The professor wants to see me? Ha, ah, Jake, are you stuttering? You know what, that's okay because, you know, I stutter when it, when it comes to commentating too. When it comes to speaking in general, sometimes I tend to stutter. I can't believe it. The professor actually wants me to help him. He was the guy who trained Arya, the legendary champion. Oh, wow. Oh, what I would give to meet Arya or, or her kid, Shadow Jay. Really? You're Shadow Jay? Your mom is my hero! <laughs> if only you were as or if only you were as cool as your mom. Wow, this guy is still a jerk. Even though he knows that I am the son of the champion of this region, he's gonna treat me like a jerk. Or or like like poop. Okay, I I'm sorry, I really don't like using the word poop and all of that. You guys know I, I've said that before. Poop sounds like an immature word, but I shouldn't say that. That's Poop is a thing. Everyone poops, you know. Okay, this is getting nasty. Sorry, this is some weird commentary. Oh, hey, Shadow Jay. The professor told me your name and about how you got your Pokemon. He said he'll give me one too. I can't believe it. My own Pokemon. Okay, okay. That's that's great and all. You watch, Shadow Jay, you slimer. I'll be the best trainer ever. Anyways, let's go. Can I get my Pokemon? Yes, yes, you can. Go pick the one that suits you best. I'm starting to regret this. He's rather rude, don't you think? <laughs> Very much so, Professor. Very much so. Hmm. I pick this one. I pick the Bell Sprout. It'll serve me well. Why did his Why did his text color change from blue to red? And there it goes again. You and I, Shadow Jay, will battle soon enough. Trust me. I'm out of here, losers. He shares a very similar behavior as with Gary Oak and all of that. Very rude, very snobbish. Well, maybe the real world will drill some manners into him. One can only hope, right, Professor? Here, I've got something else for you. Here, it's a Pokedex. A Pokedex is sort of like a data collection of all Pokemon. Um, I think you mean to say a Pokedex is a device that collects data of all Pokemon. The more Pokemon you find, the more data it will have. Try to make it your goal to fill out the entire Pokedex. Obtain the Pokedex. Alright, that's... that's awesome. My intern, Jeremy, gave you some Pokeballs, right? Good. If you need any more, they're for sale at the Pokemart. Oh, and one last thing. We need to find out what Team Asgard is up to, and what they plan to do next. There's a chance lives are at stake here, Shadow Jay. Okay, remember how that whole thing that I said about perhaps Team Asgard is killing people? Well... It looks like that is the case. I would suggest heading south to Superior Town. Not only is there a gym, but I've been uh, I've been getting records of Asgard activity around that area. So go do your mom proud. All right, I will. With Hubert here, I love how Hubert just follows me around, kind of like how Pokemon follow you around in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which are Pokemon games that I still need to play, honestly. Hey, Shadow Jay, how's your PokeQuest going? Oh, this is the same guy. This is Hiker Jeremy, the the same Hiker Jeremy that gave us the Pokeballs. So thanks much, Jeremy. Oh, we see a guy playing a Game Boy Advance here. My mommy says I shouldn't talk to you. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! <laughs> That's funny. Well, that is true. Stranger danger is a real thing, kids. I caught a Pidgey today. My Pidgey and I have been training very hard. Well, that's good to hear. Before we go on, I want to see what else this town has to offer. Hello there. Hi there, are you a trainer? Have you met my son Jake? Oh, I have met your son Jake and honestly, ma'am, it hasn't been a pleasure. It wasn't pleasant meeting that guy. He's a great kid, sweet, kind, and caring. Were you not listening to me, ma'am? I had just said that. He lacks discipline. I, I mean, not to judge your parental skills and all of that, but really, he is a very rude kid. My big brother Jake is teaching me all about swag. That's terrible. That's terrible. This girl looks like she's five or six years old, and right off the bat, you're teaching her about swag, Jake. Aw, oh, I, I, I shake my head at you. You guys know what Pokemarts are and what Pokemon Centers are, so I won't explain too much about that, but nonetheless, you guys know that Pokemon Centers are where you heal up your Pokemon after battles, you know? it's That's very important, especially when you're doing a Nuzlocke challenge. I had a battle with a Team Asgard grunt today. I beat him, then I threw him in jail. <laughs> I'm on my break now. Wow, what a productive day it has been for you, huh, Mr. Officer? 
Do you have a hero? My hero is probably Red or Brendan. Those two trainers are just so cool. Wow, it's awesome how this game gives a shout out, gives tribute to, uh, gives honor to those trainers Red from, as you know, Pokemon Red and Blue, and Brendan, which is, uh, I believe, from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Correct me if I'm wrong. You have a Pokemon? Wow, that's so cool. I think it's cool too. Thanks, ma'am. And here's a Karate Kid. The Vis... The Vis... <laughs> The Vesrin region has this cool group of trainers called the Gym Leaders. Well, really, a, a lot of Pokemon regions tend to have that. Okay, so quickly, I want to check how how Hubert is doing. Okay, looks like he's fully healed after that battle with Hiker Jeremy. So we don't need to visit the Pokemon. The we don't need to heal up in the Pokemon Center right now. We can continue on, but we are going to be doing that in the next episode. So thank you guys for tuning in. I am so glad to have you guys for the beginning of this new series. Tune in next time. We are going to take on or to take a look at Superior Town. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit like. It really helps in growing the channel. And of course, it really shows how much you like the video. Let's try to get this video up to seven likes. How's that? For a new series, let's get this video up to seven likes. And of course, if you like the video, please go ahead and feel free to hit that big red subscribe button to see more content from me in the future. Now, in this end card, normally you can click the link to take a look at the previous video, but as you guys know, this is the first episode of this series, but you can also take a look at that next link to take a look at that next video once it comes out. Also, you guys should check out my Super Mario 3D World series. It is already coming to an end. It's it's um, near its end already, but you guys should still check it out. People have been having a lot of fun, including me. You know, I've been having a lot of fun recording it and all of that. Anyway, thank you guys once again for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, take care.